guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the material that you're seeing, I hope that you'll subscribe and join in often. If you've already subscribed, thank you very kindly. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to plant onion seeds. I'm going to start them under grow lights inside the house and plant them out a little later when it isn't quite so hot anymore. Right now we're experiencing oh, only about 105 degrees compared to a couple weeks ago when it was uh, 117. So I think it's too hot to put the seed directly in the ground. For that reason, I'll start it going in the house. If you've never seen a seed tray before, it comes with multiple pockets with holes in the middle at the bottom, and then a tray to catch water. But interestingly, the tray can also be filled with water, and these cells with soil can then wick up water into the dry soil and water your seedlings that way. So I'm just going to fill this up with some potting soil. In, in the past I've used seed starting mix, uh, but that's gone up quite a bit in price. And I've tried potting mix a few times now, and my seeds germinate in potting mix just fine inside the house. So I've switched to that. It's, the difference is it's a little more chunky. It's still nice and soft, but it's a little more chunky than that fine seed starting mix we sell. So we're gonna fill every cell. This is what I'll remove when I say I have no problem using potting mix. If you get a chunk that's really big, a seed can't grow in that, and I just chuck it in the garden, move on. The onions I collected in the spring from my garden. Um, so there's some husk in there, that's the yellow part, and then the black part in there is the seed, and maybe when I get it out I can show a seed a little bit more up close. These trays also come with a clear lid, and what I'll do after I've uh, filled it and watered it and put the seeds in, I'll put the clear lid on top just until the onions germinate or sprout, and then I'll take the lid off. The point is to keep it humid, keep the seed humid until it germinates. After that, it can really drink up water from the soil and from the tray, if you, uh, whether you top water or bottom water. But for that initial putting the seed down and it hasn't sprouted yet, to keep the atmosphere humid with that plastic lid, the clear plastic lid. My soil is warm. It was sitting in the sun at the garden center. And the whole bag is just heated up, which isn't bad. A lot of seedlings, seeds like to germinate in warm conditions. So that, that ought to be fine. Okay. I'm going to put two, about two seeds per cell. So just go two, two, two all the way down. Um, if you've ever watched Charles Dowding videos on YouTube, and if you haven't, I would recommend a gardener out of Great Britain and very talented and very knowledgeable with years of garden practice. Um, he favors multi-sowing onions, which is to say he'll put four seeds in every cell and and he'll plant them that way also. He won't thin them out. So then in the ground, he, he'll he have four onions bulbing next to each other and um, give them plenty of room to spread out. So where you might put one onion and then another onion, he'll, he'll put four, give enough space 
on either side for them to spread out and um, grow them that way. I have tried that in my garden. <laughs> what I've ended up with is sort of a rounded side and a rounded side and then each of them being flat and I it just it isn't working for me that they'll they'll spread out and they'll they'll each be a perfectly round beautiful bulb and I'm just not experiencing that so I've gone back to um, one and a space and one and a space and one and a space I have however multi-stone carrots and that works out lovely I, I did sort of a spiral planting in the ground and then when they grew and were ready you could just grab the carrots by their stems and pull up a whole bunch at once that was glorious I loved it and I'll probably do that again but for my onions I'm gonna spread them out and the reason I'm growing two per cell after just explaining all of that and here she just said she didn't want to grow two together is because I don't know about the germination rate on my seeds. It could be that every single one I put in will germinate um, or sprout, but it could, could also be that um, maybe there's a lower germination rate for, just for whatever reason. So this gives me the opportunity to hopefully get one of them to come up. Maybe both of them will come up. Okay, like I said, this yellow part is husk, but if you see, these black ones in there. Let me scoot, scoot that on the edges. That's the seed. Yeah, onion seed. And this smells really good. If you ever have the opportunity to collect seed from your own yard or out in nature, be sure to smell your hands. Be sure to smell this product. It's it's delightful, and that can occur with lots of different seeds, not just onion. So I'm gonna go two or more because it's hard to separate from the husk in the end. So there might end up being more seed per cell than I'm expecting, which is fine. I definitely don't want less. I don't wanna not get a seed in there. So I'm looking for the seeds in my hand, getting them in the cells, and this is 40 cells, so I don't think you need to stick around and watch the whole thing, but if you have uh, any questions about starting seeds indoors or collecting seeds or want to start a dialogue of any kind in the comments section, uh, I find the online gardening community really delightful and, and people enjoy conversing in that manner in the comments section, so feel free to use the comments section on this channel to um, engage and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, happy gardening.